Hi guys, welcome to vlog number 12. That's right, real big apology from us here at TDW. For a raft of reasons, we have been a bit slow getting some content back up to YouTube, but we're back up to speed. We've got some backlog of content that we will make available over the next couple of weeks. But this vlog number 12, I'm going to give you some updates on what we're up to, what the market's up to, and the kind of stuff that you can expect to see from TDW over the coming months. So we're going to talk about some of our event stuff, some road trips that we've been on, some content that we've created that's now available, etc. So a big apology. I am currently getting over man flu. And if you've ever had man flu, it, it's like death. It just knocks you to one side. So if I have to keep pausing to have a little drink because my throat is still a bit dry... Uh, you'll have to forgive me. So a massive thank you to everybody over the couple last couple of weeks who have hosted me on a couple of road trips that I've been on. So I've been over to Northern Ireland and spent some time with Bombardier and a massive thanks and shout out for showing me your tools, your processes and the kind of things that you're working on and some of the challenges that you have, as well as showing me around a little bit of the facility that you have there. I really appreciate that because it always helps me kind of understand a little bit more about the challenges that you guys are having. So I really, really appreciate that. And whilst I was there, I managed to get down to Dublin for the first time. And I went and watched, I think you can see here, went and watched U2 in concert and it's the first time I've been to Dublin and it's the first time I've seen U2 live and it was the 30th year anniversary of the Joshua Tree album and they were absolutely immense and it was absolutely brilliant. In fact, this is where I picked up my Lurgy from. So I've also been and seen British Airways again where they've shown me some of the tools they're using, some of the processes that they've implemented, some of the challenges they're having. Uh, really appreciate that because we're supporting some clients right now that could probably learn from what British Airways have been and are going through. So a massive shout out to Adrian and, and his team, because I know you're exceptionally busy. And, you know, looking at those tools has helped me kind of picture how they might be able to address some of the problems for some clients that I'm supporting right now. We've also asked British Airways if they'd be willing to do a keynote presentation at our conference this year. They've said they've not seen, they don't see a problem with it. They're just waiting on formal clarification. So hopefully we'll be able to announce that formally in the next couple of weeks. And I've also been in and seen Marshall Aerospace and Defence in Cambridge here in the UK. Uh, Chris has got some interesting challenges on his plate. And we kind of talked over that over a nice coffee early Thursday morning, I think it was, because I know that you're in the midst of some pretty major programs right now. And uh, hopefully we'll see you along at TDW Live this year. So massive thank you to everybody who takes time out of their day to host me and to actually spend some time showing me the tools that you're using, the processes that you're implementing and talking about some of the challenges that you're having, because... I see the commonality then across the market and then TDW can help try and address those problems for you. So massive thank you to that. In terms of member news and member updates, we've had a massive and, and quick growth in membership here at TDW, especially post Amsterdam and our social channels are becoming a little bit more popular. So people are starting to understand what we do and why we do it. A lot of you like it, some of you don't like it, but a lot of you do like it and you send in some great comments. So I just want to call out O'Neill and Associates who have joined us as a member company. Raytheon in the US have joined us. I'll talk about Adobe shortly. Cap Gemini, or you call yourselves Cap Gemini, which but Cap Gemini is what it looks like to me. And SDL have renewed their support for TDW Live this year, which means they're going to be exhibiting. Uh, they didn't exhibit last year, but they're exhibiting this year. So appreciate that. Adobe have renewed their 
uh, marketing contract with us for the rest of this year and into next year. So a massive shout out and thank you to Adobe because Cybel and the guys there like what we're doing and they like the fact that we're focused on on aerospace and defense and space. And, you know, we do use some Adobe tools on the tutorials and that that we produce. So massive thank you to all of you guys that have renewed your support. There are some new ones coming on board very shortly. We haven't announced you yet because we need to leave some bullets in our magazine for the next tutorials that we do. So uh, what else has been going on? Well, magazine, Tech Data World magazine, TDW magazine. It's going out now to we last count, we believe it's about 2000 readers are getting access to this magazine. So that includes everybody on our TDIQ platform. That includes all of our members plus a number of organizations that subscribe worldwide. So what's in this issue? Well, we've done a Amsterdam review, which I'm looking at the screen there to make sure you're not getting a shine off the light. So we did an Amsterdam review and in there, it's kind of some of my thoughts on what I learned in Amsterdam. And we've put together some you know, photos that we, we picked up in there and a little you know photo gallery so if you are at or you were at the show then you, the chances are there might be a picture of you in the magazine if you've not received your copy yet i know that some of them have got lost again good old royal mail uh, do get in touch with us and we'll send you another copy out no problem at all Big thank you to Dr. Mike Day, Barry Braster, Ian Proudfoot, Roy Scorer, and I hope I've got you all who contributed articles this quarter. And um, I know that, uh, that you're all going to pro be producing something else very shortly. Ian did something on Adobe RoboHelp. Peter Studdard, sorry I didn't mention you, did something on Evolving Support Solutions. You can see that. And... The interesting thing for the magazine is that we are now, because we are about 30 members in terms of vendor membership, we are going to introduce at the back, right now at the back, we have an Ask Mike section where your questions come in and I answer them. We're going to put together a, a vendor member directory. And if you haven't been told about this already, then make sure you get in touch with us here at member services at techdataworld.com. That's because... We, in the next issue, which is the Q3 issue, which is just going out before the conference, we'll have your logo, a short intro to who you are and what you do, plus your contact details. So therefore, you're getting that as part of your membership. You'll be included in the members directory. So uh, again, you'll be contacted about that either from uh, Lewis or from Claire, and they will ask you to submit that to go in. But that's coming in in the next issue. Now, stickers. I've been asking Claire to get some of these for ages because I know how much people love this kind of stuff. And um, and it was an idea I had, well, I won't say where I got the idea from, but people like this kind of stuff. You know, I think I've put one on, but there's one on the back of my monitor here. There's one on the back of my laptop lid. We've got a bigger one for, for, for laptops. And if you want one of these and you're a member or a magazine subscriber and you want one of our stickers, please get in touch with us, member services at techdataworld.com, and we will send you one out. Um, if you're a magazine subscriber, the chances are there's probably one already thrown into your magazine. But I like these, and everyone I've been and seen over the last couple of weeks, I've left one on your table, or I've given you one, and um, you like them, and, you know, please do... If you need one or want one, just get in touch. So Amsterdam, I talked about Amsterdam. We did a review here in the magazine, but you know, I've done a full tutorial where Jamie came to Amsterdam with me and we've put it up on YouTube. Had lots of comments on that through to us. Uh, a lot of you like that, you know, we're kind of virtually bringing you there. Um, but you know, I've given my thoughts and feedback and that, that's all up on our YouTube channel and you can get access to that via our website as well where it's it's live streamed or not live streamed it's streamed from our live streaming server and you can access that up there so some event news and updates our seminar for the 7th of September I think it is that's happening here in the UK on innovation in information and the theme is come and play 
the idea is is that uh, you can come and have a look at technology in action and how it's changing the way that we're working with information and support information and how we're delivering that information so the idea is come along some very short sharp presentations nothing too in depth and then the idea is, is you go and speak to the vendors and you go and play with the technology that they have and you can have a look at information in action which is another title that we we came up with but um innovation in information that's happening on the 7th of september already had a stack of registrants for that lunch and that's all included and you'll get you know, all your refreshments and some little handouts and that kind of stuff so do check out our website and you can book your place on that. It's really quite cheap. Obviously, members get it much cheaper. Some boring stuff that's quite interesting. Okay, sorry about that guys, jump cut there because I had a little bit of a coughing fit, but um, TDW Live has sold out in terms of exhibition spaces. So we are now absolutely full in terms of vendors that are actually going to be able to show their wares at the event. Now, we're, it's, it's proving to be what will be another exceptional event because the numbers are way ahead of what they were last year. So we're full on that. Mekon and Adobe have taken the last table. And so thank you to that. And what's really exciting is we're planning on live streaming the first track on day two, which is normally the traditionally the technical publications practitioners track. So what we're going to do is if you're a TDIQ subscriber, you'll be able to log into your TDIQ subscription via the TDIQ portal and there'll be a live stream course that you'll be able to enroll on and when the channel is made live on the day you'll be able to follow along. Now those of you that are in a different time zone fear not you will be able to join us live when you come in but you will also be able to rewind and watch the bits that you've missed. We're also implementing some technology which means you can live interact with us which means you can ask questions as we go through the day so you'll be able to ping us a question and we can ask the presenters for you whilst we're there and give you some feedback so what this means is those of you that don't get the budget or the time or the authorization to come to these events you can join us as part of your tdiq subscription so we're bringing the event to you which maximizes the ROI for the vendors which means the vendors who are presenting are getting extra exposure because it's going to our TDIQ platform and our TDIQ subscribers so very exciting we invested in all the hardware all the software blooming expensive but it's something that we've been talking about now for the last two or three years technology is now there and our hardware and our services and our software that we put onto our servers is all there as well so we're going to test it out at the seminar in Bawa or at the Bawa Centre in Filton in a couple of weeks we're going to do some live streaming from there to make sure that it all works and everything is working well and then we're going to do the full-on live stream from TDW Live we've also got something planned for Q1 next year which we will not announce right now but that will also involve some live streaming and you will be able to watch that as part of your TDIQ subscription as well. So interesting times in terms of live streaming. I think this is where it's going and uh, you will be able to join us from the comfort of your own office, etc. So... Some of the less interesting stuff, we've actually managed to overhaul our website, which we've had some lots of great feedback on that. And thank you. So, yeah, all it is, is that we wanted to do something that was a little bit more modern, a little bit more fresh. And our website was looking a bit tired, a little bit ugly. So we updated it. We spent a lot of time and energy upgrading the website. 
which makes it easier for you to find content and engages you a little bit more in that content. And it's easier for you to share and pass that content along to your friends, your colleagues and, and whoever it might be. So really pleased with it. And lots of effort has gone into that from the guys that help and support me. So I really appreciate that. But that also meant that we took the time to upgrade the TDIQ platform. So TDIQ has been a bit slow releasing new courses because what we wanted to do was migrate it to a newer platform, which A, meant it was more stable, more secure. And there's a couple of security enhancements that we've put into TDIQ. But it also means that now it's got the integrated technology that when we do the live streaming it will work for you in your organization so lots of great stuff going on here at tdw we've got some new stuff coming your way very shortly we've got some good tutorials coming up i think we've just done one on adobe flash which has gone up you know big news that's come out of the big news but not a surprise that came out of adobe about retiring flash at the end of 2020 so we've done a tutorial on that we've got some more tutorials coming on things like succession planning education of your teams um, and we've got a real huge announcement that will come out at the end of the year so do make sure you're stuck on all of our social channels because that will come out at the back end of december when it, we're quite finished with it which will be really super exciting so lots of Good stuff going on. We thank you all for your support and for your constant feedback and positivity that we're getting around here. Even, should we say, some of the more seasoned guys that are in the market are saying they love the way that we're we're kind of making the things more colourful and we're making it more engaging, and which is what we want to do. These are just ideas that we've had for a very long time. We've been sat on them and we're now implementing them via our platform. If you want to learn how to join Tech Data World or get access to TDIQ, just check out our website, techdataworld.com. And if you want one of our stickers, these things are going to be hot property soon. All we ask in return is you send us a little photo of it on your desk or wherever it is, and we'll include you in a little vlog or maybe even put you in a gallery in our magazine. I don't know. Let's think about that. So anyway, I hope you found that useful. Lots of great stuff. A massive thank you to everybody who continues to support us. And until the next one, guys, see you soon. I'm going to go and take myself back to bed.